come back to Viking Rogaland, the Viking that is currently living in Southeast Asia in the Philippines. Um, I'm going to talk today about something quite useful if you want to travel to other parts of the world than the US and Europe, Scandinavia, even if you go to to countries like Romania and even Poland, you might find out that the way of constructing toilets might be quite different from your place. For example, in Norway, we have uh, most of, of our houses are built in wood. So even the flooring in the toilet is made of wood, actually. And then maybe you put some linoleum to cover the, or you put the tiles if you if you have a nice bathroom but in the old days you know it's in Norway and that part of the world is very cold in the winter time so you would um, don't like to really sit down on something like that is becoming very cold right when you're gonna do your business your number two So that's why in Norway we, we use toilet papers and that's it. And you're not supposed to splash anything, any water on the, on the flooring, even though the building code now says that you have to have some kind of, of drainage in the bathroom floor. But in the old days, that was not always the case, right? So we have uh, been trained to use only toilet paper you do your business you use your toilet paper and you throw it in the bowl and and the toilet seat is high and have a big opening and there is a cover you know there are two covers the the top cover is for for closing down everything so a rat for example would not be able to <laughs> to get into your bathroom from the piping system uh, and if you're gonna do number two, as we call it, you lift up the top cover and you sit down on the the smaller half half cover, which is of course have a big hole in the center. And if you are doing number one, like peeing, especially if you are a man uh, and you like to stand, for example, you will lift up both covers and you will do your thing there in in the bowl, right? Now, when you travel to other countries, it might be a bit different. So let's have a look at what you can meet. For example, uh, you don't need to get far away from Western Europe. Uh, I remember when I was with my fiance, my ex-wife, back in 1992, we, we drove on a car holiday to Poland. And uh, we stopped there in along the highway. There was a toilet a roadside quite big toilet good great building and my wife came out and she said oh somebody has stolen the toilet i said what stolen the toilet yes she said and i went in to see and there was a squatting type toilet and i laughed at her and i said oh, no that is the style in many places in in, uh, in the world And in Eastern Europe, in Serbia, in Romania, yeah, many places it's like that. So even in Poland sometimes, you know, it's quite easy to maintain uh, clean. But sometime I remember in Belgrade, we were there and with a, so we were driving from Albania. Uh, we had delivered some, some uh, relief help aid in Albania for, all the way from Norway and then we really had to stop in, in downtown in Belgrade at the gas station to go to the CR and oh, you, it was shit all over the floor and I, 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 and it was in the winter, it was very cold and then, so of course you use long pants, you know, and you have maybe some boots, so what you're gonna do, you need to be prepared for this kind of things, okay. Uh, let's go into it, dig into it, and I will show you around in my own place here in the Philippines. So 
So here we have my CR. That is the abbreviation for comfort room. So here in the Philippines they call it the CR. Now this comfort room is not too bad, especially after we we put in a new door. This door is by the way basically made of plastic. And then I have installed a water heater here. As you can see that is Joven water heater. And people sometimes they forget to turn it off. This one. <laughs> so that's why I write turn off. Okay, so here we have the power circuit breaker and uh, here we have a, a soap holder and this is quite an old house uh, so it used to be obviously a sink here you see here has been a sink there is the we plug this one with cement the hole and here is the water supply it actually has a water supply so now in this comfort room uh, toilet as we say in Norway do das in Norwegian um, you can see well there is a bucket okay so here we have three options about how you how you go about when you, you go to the toilet in uh, Asia, Southeast Asia. So we have a, a bucket with this scope. This is very practical. You can use it for shower because most people don't have a shower head like I do here. Or so many times the water pressure is almost non-existing so that is good for like I said for showering or for washing your bum now another option is the typical Norwegian style and most Norwegians they don't even know how to survive if they don't have this stuff in their CR now what you will notice in many countries if you are Norwegian you are used to throw the paper in to the toilet bowl and then you will flush the paper with your stuff there into the drainage into the uh, sewage but in most countries the diameters on the pipes draining pipes they are they are not able to handle all the toilet paper so it can look very disgusting but I've been living in Romania we had to do it there as well is what you do when you if you use toilet paper you have a garbage bin something like this you know um, for some reasons and you try to avoid to throw it inside here now in Thailand this is what they had in the most places where I was in, in the condos, in the restaurants, even in India, first time I was in India I thought, oh, they have a shower in the <laughs> toilet and the, because of the sun was shining on the wall from outside the water was uh, quite lovely and hot but this is, a, this is a bum shower, got it? okay, so then another thing, this bowl is quite tall and quite big. This hole here is quite big. So this is the, the one of the problems in the Philippines is so many places they have very small, low, short toilet bowls. Here you see they have raised it even with some cement. Uh, but since many Filipinos are short, that's okay for them. They have short and they have lean, small bodies. But if you are a big cano uh, like me, 
you will have a problem. Now, the other thing is they usually don't have toilet seats. They don't even know what is a toilet seat. So, if you are going to pee, if you are a man, you lift up like this, okay? Don't pee with this one down. So, when you are done with your business, you put on the lid, right? But then you see something else. It's missing here. Her hair is usually in Romania. It was the tank would be up, up on the wall like that. And then you, you pull a string, boom, and it will flush your things out and down in the system, right? But here in the Philippines, it's very rare to actually find a place where they have a toilet seats. And if you find them, like in some malls or restaurants, they will probably be broken. Because what people, many people do, if they come from the poor, simple background, is they only have a hole in the ground, you know. Or you have you can have a porcelain platform uh, with a hole in the middle, so it's elevated up a little bit. So you put one foot there, one foot there, and then you squat and you do your, your stuff. And then you use this kind of thing, okay, and that's it. So when they come to a toilet with a seat, they get confused. So maybe they will put down. The lid, but they will squat, they will put their feet here. You can imagine it's gonna cause breakage and damage. And also, they don't know how to use that water tank in the back, so it will probably be broken if you are in a mall or, or, or a restaurant. It's very, very complicated. And so there will be no, in a, in a usual restaurant or a mall in the CR toilets, there will be no paper and they don't have this one in the, here in the Philippines I never saw these guys in the malls if you are lucky they have a bucket something like this but many times it's not even that there is just a bucket to throw your paper but you have to bring your own water bottle you have to, or you have to bring your own uh, wet wipes okay so I hope you enjoyed the, the tour. Welcome to the luxury home of Mr. Johnny.